hello children here we are going to recall about increase percentage decrease percentage profit percentage and a loss percentage and also going to discuss briefly about a discount percentage sales tax a value added tax and a gst increase or decrease percentage for example the population of a city decreased from 25000 to 24500 find the percentage decrease here we have to find decrease percentage or we have learned formula to find decrease or increase percentage equals amount of change uh, divided by original amount or base amount into 100 percentage right here base amount or original amount or first amount 25000 right then amount of change becomes a base amount minus a new amount here 25000 minus 24500 equals 500 right then decrease percentage equals 500 divided by 25000 into 100 it becomes a 2 percentage right now we have profit percentage and loss percentage with the help of two examples we can recall profit and loss percentages a first one a cupboard bought for rupees 2500 and sold at rupees 3000 find profit percentage or loss percentage here sp greater than cp so profit right what is the formula to find profit percentage children can you give me yes we have learned in the earlier classes right profit percentage equals profit divided by cost price into 100 percentage right here profit sp minus cp 3000 minus 2500 equals 500 right then profit percentage equals 500 divided by 2500 into 100 percentage answer becomes 20 percentage right second question is cut bought for rupees uh, 250 and sold at uh, rupees 150 find loss percentage or profit percentage here first we have to decide whether it is profit or loss here we can see sp less than cp so loss right what about formula to find loss percentage children can you give me yes loss percentage equals loss divided by cost price into 100 percentage okay here loss equals cp minus sp right so 250 minus 150 equals 100 rupees and then loss percentage equals 100 divided by 250 into 100 percentage it becomes 40 percentage is it clear children now we have to discuss about discount and discount percentage discount is a reduction given on marked price discount equals marked price minus sale price okay then discount percentage equals discount divided by marked price into 100 percentage let's see one example an item marked at rupees 840 is sold for rupees 714 what is the discount 
and discount percentage okay let's try to find the answer here marked price 840 rupees sold price uh, rupees 740 discount becomes 840 rupees minus 714 rupees also equals 126 rupees here discount becomes 126 rupees right clear now next we have to find discount percentage okay here discount percentage equals a discount divided by market price into 100 percentage also equals 126 divided by 840 into 100 percentage after the simplification we can see their answer a 15 percentage right Let's see one example. The cost of a pair of roller skates at a shop was rupees 450. The sales tax charged was 5%. Find the bill amount. Okay. To get a bill amount, we have to add cost of item and sales tax. To get sales tax, we have to find 5% of 450 equals 22.5 then final bill amount becomes a rupees 450 plus a rupees 22.5 also equals a rupees 472.5 okay clear now <laughs> Let's find answer of this question. Wahida bought an air cooler for rupees three thousand three hundred, including ten percentage of what? Find the price of the cooler before value added tax was added or GST was added. Or oh, see children here rupees three thousand three hundred. In the number a number in order, Adinda than it, ten percentage add a shade of the Okay, the ten percentage in the war in the value added tax, other language GST. This add a shade the ticket in the amount on a three thousand three hundred. For the builder, the amount excluding GST or amount excluding VAT can do the can in the number step with the week. Either number room. A number in the ten percentage of add the three thousand three hundred. So the required number let it be x, right? We can take x, any variable we can have there. Then our first step becomes x plus ten percentage of x equals three thousand three hundred, right? Then next step, x plus 10 by 100 into x equals uh, 3300, right? Then x by 1 plus 10x by 100 equals uh, 3300. Here, LCM of 1 and 100 becomes 100, right? So next step, 100x plus 10x by 100 equals 3300. Then 110x by 100 equals uh, 3300. Then x equals 3300 into 100 divided by 110. Final answer becomes uh, 3000 rupees. So price of the cooler before VAT was added becomes uh, 3000. Or a uh, price of the cooler before GST was added also equals. 3000 rupees so clear no children thank you